All right, so people have been asking me about how to do a specific gravity test. And so I want to show you how to do that via video. It makes a lot easier explanation than the blog post that I have. I'll add this to the blog post, of course. But what you need is a container full of water. I'm using a five gallon bucket. That's just nice. You need a scale that will weigh your specimen and then you also need a way to hang your specimen down in water. I just use a coat hanger with a piece of string on it and um, an elastic band to put the gold specimen on. I have this little piece of glass that I use. It's got a weight on it here. And that just allows your scale to hang over the edge of the table so that you can hang the gold specimen down in the water. You need a calculator and a piece of paper and then the formula. And then of course, what you need is you need a piece of gold that has quartz in it. So I bought this piece yesterday. You can see that it's been prepared. It's been etched. Um, I'm going to do a two part video on this piece because I'm going to actually clean it up a lot more than it's been etched now. So let's go ahead and start the specific gravity test. And the way we do that is we weigh that first. It's 87.15 grams. So 87.15 grams. And then what we want to do is we now want to make sure that we know the weight of the piece of equipment that we're using to hang the gold down into the water and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this I'm going to tear it out and then I just attach using this rubber band I just attach the gold to it and so right now the scale reads negative 41.32 which is the weight of the unit that I'm hanging the gold from and now I have the gold completely submerged in the water. We let it sit just for a second so it stops moving back and forth. And we see that that's 64.62 grams. So 64.62 grams. And then what we have to do is we have to use our formula to calculate the amount of gold in it. So the dry weight, we multiply that by 1.9, which is 10% of the specific gravity of gold. And then the wet weight, what we do is we multiply that by 3.1. And quartz is approximately a 3.1 specific gravity. So 64.62 times 3.1 equals 200.32 and then we take the 87.15 multiply that by 1.9 equals 165.58 and then we take the 200.32 and we minus 165.58 equals 34.74 grams so this specimen has approximately 34.74 grams of gold in it and that's it that's as simple as it is